In lesson 2, we will learn the concept of texels and we will see why texels are really important and what are their roles in texturing and material design. So let's boom into lesson number 2 and learn about texels in detail. My mom's textures are so bad qualities. What about your texture files? Huh? 8K. And what about your UV texels? Huh? What are those? So let's start, we will see about the texels. Now what are the texels basically? Texels are some sort of container that contains your pixels of the UV map. Okay. So uh, as the word pixels, word texels is the same. So let's see how texels look like. So I have this model that we will use for this course. Okay. And I bought this model from this website, 3D Sky, okay, for $7. It is made by Mr. Zeka, and it's a quite very good uh, detailed model. I did some changes in order to work on Stains Painter because uh, it was triangulated, so I have to convert that into quads. So easily we can um, apply the vertex map on it, the vertex colors, and increase the texels. And to import it inside of our uh, Substance Painter. So it's a quite good model. So we will work on this one uh, to check how it, how we can perform some operations inside the Substance Painter. Now, as I was talking about the texels, to check the texels, let me show you one thing. You have this image in front of you, or this uh, model in front of you, and I will select this front panel of it and then I will go to the UV and UV editor inside Maya. You can use any 3D software to work on the pixels, but I'm using Maya at this, at this time. So I will go to UV, UV editor and then I will have this UV editor open. Let me just make the screen a little smaller so you can see the whole thing clearly. Okay, now here, let me turn on this view so you can view it clearly. Uh, I think this is better. Now let me select all of this so it can be visible for you. Now, if you will notice that I have these texels here, these uh, like texel models. Let me do one thing. Let me check, uh, change the background uh, here because it's quite overlapping and it's not visible. So I want you to see actual, uh, actually how. So I think I, for this time, I will just turn off the checker for now, just to show you. Now, if you will see each map is a number of polygons over here and you can see the size of it okay so uh on your screen if you will see there are some checkers showing that and checkers are quite a good number of checkers over here okay very evenly distributed evenly divided here if i will take all of these or some of these okay and then i uh, I will try to uh, decrease the size of it. You will see that the checkers here on the screen on my model is getting bigger. That means if I will apply a fine image or high quality image, any kind of image on it, so what will happen? The pixels will be larger. That means it will be blurred out. Just like you have an image in front of you. And when you zoom in the image, so you see that image quality gets lesser and lesser. It gets pixelated and pixelated. Okay. So this is what will happen over here if I will reduce the size. What will happen? There will be not so much space for the texels. You can see that I have this whole big area here, which I can use, but I'm not using this. Okay. I'm just using smaller parts. 
So what will happen is that only at this part, my pixels will be shown. And if it will go beyond, it will get pixelated. It will get blurred. So the quality, even if it is 8K image, it will not look good because I don't have enough information to store the pixels of those textures. So I have to keep it bigger. As bigger, I will keep it. Not only bigger, it has to be evenly divided. The checkers have to be evenly divided, just like you can see on the screen. Okay, otherwise what will happen is that I will not get a good quality of image. Whatever I will apply, even if it is a very high res image, okay, it will get pixelated. This is really important when you are working for any gaming engine or any sort of modeling with uh, architecture modeling or you know realistic modeling. So for that purpose, it is very important. Otherwise, what will happen? You will get text uh, like a pixelated image. That's why texels are really important over here. So these. Uh, patches over here they are known as islands okay so make sure your islands are nicely arranged okay it should not be something like uh, like you can say non-uniformly distributed for example if I will select this file okay just giving an example if I will go here okay and let me turn it to automatic now if I will do automatic you can see that automatically it has divided my islands in this view. Now you can see some are bigger, some are smaller. But issue over here is that there is a lot of space which I'm not using. You can see that I can take this island here, okay, and I can easily move this inside this part, okay, and then I can make it bigger. So if I will undo this, let's go back how it was before, okay. So you can see that they are nicely divided. There is a space inside this frame of the television. So I used that space to put the other materials over here. There was some space inside this frame as well. So I put some other uh, like islands over here. So you can uh, use these spaces okay, for the islands. In this way, you will have more and more uh, like, a, uh, like a textile space on your uh, like UV editor and you will have a good quality of texels. Now if you will see all of these are divided into different parts. The reason was that I divided this into different parts is that if I will use all of them in one scene okay so I have to create these islands for all of them and then I will not have enough space to create enough number of texels that's why what i have to do was that what i have done is that i took all these islands and i tried to put them separately inside the separate uh, uv uh, like uv spaces for that i divided them into different parts and they're not as one part okay this is a different uh, like polygon this is a different polygon this is a different polygon so in that way they all have their own texels otherwise if they all are same they will be in the same space so i well uh, like at the at, at because of that i should uh, i might be needing a good number of you can say uh like a like a, a space for the texels which was not possible because it will it would be so cluttered that all of them should be fit in one window and it's not possible so i had to divide them into different uh, like polygons so i hope this part is clear and make sure whenever you are working for substance painter or any other gaming engine or any other thing you do this okay so if you want to create a, a model for substance painter make sure if it is not smaller means you have to, it, like there are a lot of islands so you divide them different polygons like what i did here i have divided them into different uh like uh, polygons then each one of these polygons have uh, have its own uh, islands okay so this is what you have to do and when you have their own islands then you have to evenly divide those islands make sure they are large enough to have more texel value so guys 
I hope you have understood about the whole thing. So we'll uh, see uh, next class. We will be in the next class then. And uh, make sure you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the sub on the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to click on the bell icon. Watch my video from beginning to the end because there are a lot of important things in between. And please watch all my videos online. Otherwise, I will not have enough watch time hours, which will discourage me to create more tutorial. Okay, so take care, everyone. We will meet in the next class.